What's good, family? It's your boy, MI4K20 in the building. Y'all know what it is. We Talk Hawks TV. We Talk Hawks Daily. Number one YouTube fan channel by the fans for the fans. And I'm back with another video. And you know what time it is. I know you know what's popping. That boy number five. Y'all see it? Jonte Murray. Dejounte Murray. <sighs> Clowning. Number one overall draft pick, Panjero. Clowning Panjero, man. Clowning. And I'm here for it. I'm here for it. If you're a Hawks fan, you should be excited. This stuff like this should excite you if you're a Hawks fan. It's been too many years we've been in these groups sitting there and saying, we are too nice. We always the nice guy. We getting beat. We not aggressive. The coach don't get no technical fouls. The coach just stand there. No one does nothing. And now we got a dog. We got a dog on the team. And I'm going to tell you like this. I'm going to get this out of the way right now, family. As you see the highlights going in the background, shout out Baller's Life. I'm going to tell you like this, man. I love it. Maybe that's just me, but I'm one of those type of dudes. I like aggression. Because I'm aggressive. I like aggression. I'm here for it. I live for it, especially when you're competing at anything. Basketball, soccer, running, hell, Monopoly, video games, aggression. I'm there for a competition. It's all in love. It ain't like you're trying to fight the dude. But listen, you don't know. I mean, at the end of the day, I'm reading a lot of comments, man. You you listen, we as fans don't really know why they why they beefing like this, why they upset with each other. Okay. Words could have been said, exchanged on the court, before the court, I mean excuse me, before the game. Who knows? But I don't care. I'm here for it. I'm here for that drama. Okay. I'm here for the aggression. Let's do Dejounte Murray laughing and clowning right now. I'm here for it. I'm here for it. And I know I better not see no Hawks fans in those in these comments on this video, in this com in the comments on Twitter or any other video talking about, oh, I'm so disappointed in DeJounte, his attitude. That's why the Spurs traded him. Blah, blah. I don't want to hear none of that. After all the years, we went through being the team always the one getting pumped. Now we got that aggression. And me personally, I hope it rub off on John Collins. Trey, Trey already aggressive. We just don't see it because he kind of, you know, he kind of short. He can't dunk and yam on cats like DeJounte can. But Trey already aggressive. I need John to get more aggressive, be more aggressive. You know what I'm saying? Aggressive as far as, hey, when we get on this court, I'm doing anything to win. I don't care who you is, my guy. I don't care who you, I ain't helping you up off the court. I ain't giving you no high fives. Now, we can do all that after the game. We can do that before the game. But once that whistle blow, bro, I don't know you. Feel me? But I love it. I was excited watching these highlights. I got excited. I'm ready for the season to start. I'm ready because I believe it's going to rub off. And I'm going to tell you, Coach Nate, Nate McMillan, don't be trying to tell him to calm down, be humble, relax. Don't do none of that zen. I don't want to see none of this five become the fist type crap. Let that man be him. Let him be aggressive. Let him get out there, do his thing. Nate, don't be trying to come with that zen shit like you be doing. You know, guys, we don't want that. We need this. Okay? We need this. And as I'm, I'm going to tell you what else is funny. I'm reading these comments on these videos, right? Uh, Ball is life. I've seen a, a two, two more videos with uh, uh, DeJounte and uh, Banchero going at it, right? I've seen two more. And I'm reading comments. And let me tell you something. A lot of you men, I'm assuming are men, leaving these comments on these videos. I never realized how soft a lot of men are. A lot of men today, I can tell by the comments, why is he acting like that? What's his problem? I'm glad Ben Chevro was more mature by not doing. Man, what? I'm reading. I'm like, man, these dudes in these comments are soft. Because let me tell you something. 
I'm a grown man. I'm gonna tell you like this. What I'm not gonna tolerate. Uh, like, let me tell you something, man. Banchero, it won't cause he's mature. He didn't want no problems. He did not want problems with Dejounte. Let me tell you something. I can look in his face when when he threw that ball at him, and he didn't do nothing. I'm like, oh yeah, he don't want that. He don't want problems. He don't want no issue with Dejounte Murray. Cause let me tell you something. Me personally, if Murray would have did that with the dunk. <laughs> And then threw the ball at me like that. And I know he said something. Bruh, let me tell you something. Even if I knew DeJounte could beat my ass, right? It's too many people there. If we was by ourselves in the gym by ourselves, I'd be like, all right, the nigga got he got me. He got me today. He got me. But with all them people, you throw the ball at me like that, you talking about track. Let me tell you something. Even if I knew you could beat me up, I would have picked that ball up. I would threw it right back at you. You feel me? I'd have threw the ball or what I would have did was just straight up ran up on your ass and just took that L. But you're not finna play me in front of all them folks. Okay? Because you know why? Because, see, that's... Y'all believe it or not, man, that stuff be sending messages, dog. Oh, yeah, we can mess with this dude. It sends mess messages, believe it or not. When people see you getting punked, guess what other people do? They try to punk you, too. So you have to respond. I hope that's something that the young man Ben Charles will learn. You got to respond to that fake NBA game, open run, whatever. You got to. You can't allow the man just to throw the ball at you like that. I'm just glad it's not a hawk getting the ball thrown at him because we we too busy being nice and helping other teams off the floor and all that jazz. We need toughness. We already lost Solo, who was probably our only real tough guy. Now we got Dejounte. And we need this type of energy on our Atlanta Hawks. I know I'm a diehard Hawks fan. I love it. I love the aggression. I love it. When you're on that court, you should be aggressive at all times. When you're not playing your game, that's when you get hurt. You feel me? That's when you get hurt. But I don't care how old he is. I don't care. When you get on that court, bro, you the enemy. You know, you the enemy for that game. So I don't care if you're 19. Let me tell you something, bro. If I was Benchero and my dad threw the ball at me like that, I'm throwing the ball back at my daddy the same way. What I don't know what the, I threw the ball back at him. You know what I'm saying? And I'm gonna tell you another thing. If I'm out there, if I'm an NBA player, man, an all-star, I'm letting cats know I'm an all-star. I'm letting cats know I'm better than all y'all. Straight up. I'm letting you know. Like, don't even think about trying to compete with me at my level player. That's just me. That's just me. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm the type of guy, when I get out there, whatever I'm doing, lifting weights, running, whatever, I'm competitive. Okay? I'm finna get it in. I don't. I can't have step it. Ever. But I love the aggression. I love it. I love to see it. But I'm going to need some of y'all men, man. I'm going to need some of y'all to stop being, uh, stop being so soft. Stop being so soft now. A lot of y'all out here being soft in these comments, man, that I'm reading. Instead of saying, hey, maybe Banchero should have went back at him. You know, even if Banchero didn't want no, didn't want no. Listen, look at man, that dude scared me. Look at him. He was scared, bro. He didn't want that. He must know this dude's background, bro. He must know the John T. Murray background. Because he didn't want no problems. Shout out to John T. with that Hawks outfit. I need that shirt. He did not want none of those problems, dog. Let me tell you, Ben Char, what I'm doing. He's like, I just want to play ball. I don't want no issues. I just want to shoot hoop. But as a Hawks fan, I love the aggression. I'm going to keep saying it and keep repeating it. We need this on our team. We need that fire. We need that dog. We've been saying this about the Hawks, about the Falcons. Come on, man. And I'm seeing some Hawks fans talk about, oh, man, why he doing that? What do you mean why he doing it? Now, DeJounte already stated his reasons behind it. Me, personally, as a fan, I could care less. <laughs> okay? I don't care. I just like the aggression, and I hope that's how he bring it every night for our Atlanta Hawks with Trey. You know who need that to need to rub off on? That shit need to rub off on um, DeAndre Hunter. I love to see Hunter aggressive like that, just go out there and just be mad and be like, man, I'm better than all y'all out here. I would love to see that type of aggression. Rub off on uh, Hunter, but somebody like a Dejounte Murray, man. Let me tell you something. And the dude hungry, man. That dude had no choice. He had to make it. And when you play, when you play a sport or just 
whatever your career is in general, and you have to make it, you gonna always have a chip on your shoulder because you don't you don't have time to play around. You feel me? But that's all I got. I went a little too long on this video, family. I ain't mean to go that long, but man, I'm just too excited. I can't wait for the season to start. But it's your boy. Make sure y'all comment, like, subscribe. Hawks fans, y'all tell me what y'all think about what y'all just seen right there. What y'all think about this John Tate Murray? Is that aggression that he bring? Is it needed? Or is it a little over the top? Me, like I told y'all, I love I love every last minute of it, and I hope he do it in the NBA games too. But hey, you know, uh, aggression and uh, being aggressive, it's not everybody cup of tea. So I can respect those who uh who might say it might be a little over the top, but Hey, your opinion is your opinion. But it's your boy. Make sure you comment, like, subscribe to the video. Y'all know what time it is. It's your boy.